Cancer, hello. I hope you are all feeling fantastic today. <clears throat> if you're not feeling fantastic, you will be. Don't you worry. Okay, Cancer. So this is going to be your reading for August 2024. Anything that you need to know. Um, and honestly, this doesn't just have to be for August 2024. It could be just what you what you need to know right now. You can carry this message. You can watch it again in many different times in your life. It doesn't have to just be a reading for August 2024. Excuse me. But um, it's just what you need to know right now. It's just an update of the energy for August, right? Okay, so take this reading in whatever way, in, in whatever time you want to. Okay? All right, Cancer Spirit, please give us um, whatever Cancer needs to hear right now <laughs> for their August 2024, please. Thank you so much for your guidance, wisdom, and protection as we channel the energies for the collective. Thank you. All right, Cancer, what does Cancer need to know? Okay, we have, ooh, marriage, marriage, ooh, wow, <laughs> blessing, cancer, what's going on, marriage, blessing, fun, okay, <laughs> nightmare, <laughs> okay, nightmare through, okay, a little bit of a curveball, that's okay, okay, that's okay, that's already giving me a, a, something to work with right now so that's so I don't know <laughs> that's so funny oh my god it was just so like oh marriage blessing cancer what are you oh okay nightmare all right let's see <laughs> let's look into it okay okay so I honestly am seeing okay interesting interesting okay so this nightmare card i'm honestly feeling like it's just a little it's just some nerves it feels like a little bit of nerves kind of almost like cold feet like runaway bride i've just i just saw runa runaway bride in my mind you know that movie where julia roberts and what's his name G G G G G G G G G Richard Gere, <laughs> um, you know where if you haven't seen it, it's like Julia Roberts and Richard Gere, and she keeps trying to get married, and she's always she always has this fear. She's always like, I mean, she's a run a runaway bride. She runs away from like happiness. It's almost that's what I'm feeling. This nightmare energy is. It's a fear of success, a fear of marriage and blessings and happiness and I feel like it's a fear only because for one you didn't think that you would actually be able to achieve this success you I feel like there there is this I feel like oh excuse me one second I feel like there's this situation I feel like there's something that you wanted that you're actually getting there's like this manifestation that you've wanted for so long that you're actually getting you're actually being blessed with this manifestation with this wish this wish fulfillment it's a wish coming true it's like oh my god it's actually happening I actually did it I'm actually being given this I actually manifested this this is like magic am I in Harry Potter Harry Potter land right now you know it's like that much of a like oh my god I can't believe this is happening there's some kind of blessing here um, some kind of wish fulfillment here, but once I feel like once you really kind of re receive this blessing, it's, it's also starting to scare you because this feels, and I'm already, I'm hearing this is such a natural process. I'm hearing like my guides, like this is a natural process. This is a normal thing. This is a normal thing that happens, especially in someone like you who went from like nothing to something and maybe not even at that degree or that extreme, like nothing to something. Like I feel like you definitely had something um, before this, but this blessing is something big, I feel like. And so once you kind of are like, oh my God, here it is. This is the blessing. Now it's almost like, okay now what do I do with it oh my god I could lose it could I lose it it's like um, all these fears start to come up I saw 444 on the clock that could be significant for you you could be seeing 444 um but yeah I feel like 
there's some kind of um, energy here of like, it could all fall apart. Am I really um, worthy of this blessing? Am I really worthy of this responsibility, which is also a blessing? So that could be a child or, um, you know, you could be in a relationship and you found out you're pregnant and you're super excited. You didn't know that it, it would ever happen and now it's happening and you're super excited. But then you start thinking like, oh my God, am I going to be a good parent? Am I going to ruin this child? Um, you know, are we going to have enough money for it? That kind of situation. So whether that's actually your situation and it's like a child, like honestly feel like you're going to be great. This blessing wasn't just given to you for no reason. It's given to you because you deserve it and because you are worthy of it. Okay. That's why I feel so strongly for you, um, cancer. So uh, whatever it is that this blessing that's coming in for you, whether it's an, a child, whether, whether it's a marriage, whether it's a business deal, whether it's a, a new job, whether whatever it is, for you, you know what it is, you know, you know what I'm talking about here. Um, even though I don't even have to say it, you know what I'm talking about. Whatever it is, there is just like this fear of like, oh my God, can I handle it? Am I worthy? You are, okay? This is just old, old stuff surfacing, just more, more gunk that has been in your vicinity, in your energy field, just surfacing so that you may release it, okay? That's honestly all that I feel that that is at this point. It's just kind of like the nerves, cold, like cold feet stuff, okay? <sighs> yeah, or like wondering, wondering what people will think of you. You know, you may be in the spotlight more than you were before, and now that that brings more uh, people to judge you. So there might be a fear of like, oh my god, now people are looking at me. They're what are they thinking of me? You know, and. It's important to not get too caught up in what people are thinking of you because sometimes people will think really harsh things of you for no reason. Well, you know, for a reason that really has less to do with you and more to do with them, you know. Um, it's Of course, it's always important to uh, in, in, in just constructive, con constructive criticism, but to be able to discern the difference between someone judging you based off of their own brokenness and trying to help you with constructive criticism, you know what I'm saying? So there's a good fine line between that and um, you're definitely prepared to discern that, I feel. I feel like you're definitely prepared to discern that. So this nightmare energy is just some surfacing anxiety or fear that's just surfacing to be uh, released, right? Okay. So honestly, what I feel for you, Cancer, in August 2024, if you haven't experienced this blessing already, there's something, there is some kind of integration that's happening to you, Cancer, some kind of integration, whether it's an integration with your, with your higher self, whether it's an integration with another person, a, a romantic partner, whether it's an integration with, um, I have talked about this, I think in, in one of my videos, there's something about an integration period where you are coming together as one with something. So that could be many things. It could be many things. You'll know it when you, when you integrate, right? And I feel like there's this integration really getting, is really becoming concrete for you um, right now um around the area of august 2024 there's some kind of integration which is causing a huge blessing to come to you which is then going to cause you to be like oh my god am i actually ready for this am i actually is this going to actually grow to something more and yes it will i feel that for you very strongly cancer that this is just the beginning for you okay especially if the nightmare card is here this is just the beginning because the nightmare that's like i feel a new phase for you cancer i do i feel a new phase for you and it's like you're gonna just keep moving up from here and this nightmare the more and more you move up the less and less this nightmare energy is going to show up you're you're moving up okay what else for cancer spirit please for their august 2024 cancer august 2024 spirit please and thank you so much Whew, spirit is really coming through man <laughs> okay we have the three of swords Okay, three of swords. Okay, we have the ten of pentacles. And we have the lover's card. Okay, so this is a relationship for some of you here. Okay. 
this has to do with a relationship because we do have the marriage card we have the lover's card we also have the three of swords card this could be associated with that nightmare energy the kind of fear okay so i do feel like this three of swords energy has to do with something that um let's see i just had it and then it left Okay, maybe that's a message. <laughs> I meant I just had uh, I had information on this card and then it just kind of left. And I'm just like, oh, okay. But that could be the message in and of itself that I thought I had something and it left. Okay, so this could be for some, if someone, someone could possibly have experienced a divorce or a relationship ending Okay, but I also feel a new one beginning. Okay, I feel like an old relationship ending and a new one beginning. Whether that's an old relationship ending and then a new one beginning with yourself. Um, and then with another soulmate or another person, 11-11 on the clock, you're exactly where you need to be. Um, yeah, there's. I feel like there's different situations here. There's different stories here depending on who's story this is that's listening to this reading um but yeah for someone here there is definitely a um there's definitely like an ending there's an ending of a dependency that's what i'm feeling there's an ending of a dependency on someone someone whether that's an old relationship because i feel like yeah for some of you um for some of you there is a situation here where something is ending for the best so that you can integrate back into who you truly are so that you are able to navigate your path moving forward in a more um in an easy in a more easier way okay releasing things that aren't um nurturing where we're going right and i feel like where you're going is somewhere you're going somewhere where you're receiving in this amazing abundance this amazing blessing and in order to really fully be in that energy of abundance we have to really let go of these things that aren't serving us moving forward right so kind of thoughts of will i be okay alone will i be able to handle this on my own will i be able to um yeah will i be able to do this on my own will i be will i be able to handle this uh situation and yes, you will be, you are doing it, you have been doing it, and you will continue to do it, okay? Um, you're, I feel like you're getting stronger and stronger as you move forward. Um, and we also have the 10 of pentacles here. And I feel like if, if finances, if it's a financial worry that you're, if there's a financial worry, I feel like that's nothing there's no danger I see in the finances. So if you're worried about, you know, leaving someone or um, if you're worried about finances regarding leaving somebody, you're going to be fine. I feel like there's, there's an interesting um, energy that I'm feeling for you, Cancer, is that as soon as something ends and you worry about it, boom, a blessing is coming right in for you. And then a whole new chapter of your life is happening, whether that's, um, you know, with a new person, a new job, a new state of being, a new realization of who you are and what, what you're worth. Um, some One door is closing and another one is opening. Okay, so I feel like it's important for you to be aware of that transition, Cancer, so that you are able to... Um, keep moving forward and to understand why the things that are happening in your life at this time are happening and to know that they're they're happening for you not against you okay so anything that is uncomfortable is just surfacing for you to be able to um look at them and be like okay this is i don't want this this is keeping me stagnant uh to really be able to like see what's what's causing stagnation in your life and what's you know assisting you or allowing you to move forward clearing your path right and i feel like you are financially 
I feel like there's some kind of financial blessing that you're not expecting that's going to happen for you. Um, I just feel like there's three things that are going to happen, happen for you, Cancer. And it's going to be like, boom, boom, boom. It almost like feels like something, something good. And then something like that may feel not good, but then something really good is going to happen after that. And then after that happens, you're really going to understand why this all had to happen. Okay, let's get one more card for Cancer, please. One concluding card for Cancer. Spirit, please. One concluding card for Cancer. Okay. So you have redirect focus. It says focus on lack, loss, mistakes, or missed opportunities. Okay, so this is just preparing you for the situation. Like I said, there's like something good and then something that feels not good and then something that's really good, okay? So as soon as you, uh, as this not so good feeling thing happens, as soon as you um, realize that you are just uh, needing to redirect your focus, boom, that's when the good, good, good thing is gonna come come right in for you, Cancer. Yeah. I, and honestly, Cancer, I don't feel like you can mess this situation up. It's really just Spirit saying, this is what's going on. Like, you're doing the, you're doing the damn thing, and just look out for this, and it's going to make things so much more easier for you because you'll understand what's happening to you and why. Okay, that's all I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, let me know down in the comment section if this resonated with you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please follow this channel if you haven't already. If you want a personal reading for me, you can email me. My email is down in the description box below. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, whatever time it is for you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.